Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hey, join me as I go on a weekend adventure to Montana, the northwestern part of Montana. I'll see you when I get there. After leaving at 3.30 in the morning, our first stop was in Ritzville, Washington. We stopped at Jake's for breakfast. Service was great. The food was delicious. Then we headed on to Idaho. All right, here's Silverwood Amusement Park in Idaho. It was a beautiful fall day to drive. After a few stops on getting things and grocery shopping, we arrived at the cabin property. While driving to the cabin, we were greeted by a few wild turkeys. That afternoon, I looked out the window and I saw more wild turkeys and a couple of deer. We're in the town of Troy, Montana. Hey, you might have saw those. <laughs> yeah. Troy is a city in Lincoln County, Montana, United States. Our population was 797 at the 2020 census. It lies at the lowest elevation of any settlement in Montana. The town is on U.S. Route 2, near Montana Highway 56, in the Kootenai River Gorge by the Kootenai National Forest. While leaving Troy, we saw this art piece, so we decided to take a picture next to it. Hi everyone. Uh, now I'm going to visit Kootenai Falls Park in Montana. Getting here. Located 12 miles west of Libby and 6 miles east of Troy on US Highway 2. The Falls parking area is on the north side of the highway at the 20 mile marker. The trail to the swinging bridges is approximately half a mile long. The falls overlook is closer at about a third of a mile. The first 500 feet of the trail is ferry level, allowing oh, yeah. for handicap access to an overlook area where you can get a glimpse of the falls or relax in a shaded picnic area and maintain which is maintained by Lincoln County. Beyond this overlook, the dirt trail can be rough and rocky, descending to an overpass over the railroad tracks. Table, table 
Okay. All right. Okay. This could be one of those fails where I drop the camera. This bridge was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1937 to improve access for firefighting. The bridge was destroyed by flooding in 1948. In 1950, the bridge was built, rebuilt on concrete towers. The bridge was reconstructed on the existing cables and supports in 1933. The Swinging Bridge of Kootenay Falls are a very popular attraction and uses of the bridge has increased substantially. Over the past decade, in 2018, the Forest Service determined that reconstruction of the bridge will be necessary to improve public safety. Respectful, the area within the vicinity of the Kootenai Falls and the Swinging Bridge is culturally significant to the Kootenai Tribe of Idaho and the Confederate Salish and Kootenai Tribes. When visiting, Please be respectful of this special and sacred place. Spring? Spring. Yeah. The last guy gets eaten up. Okay, Al, what are you doing? Yeah. Montana. You gonna go swimming today? Uh, no, it's too cold. It's too cold. There's it's some, a beautiful area though. There's some white water. Yeah. Good for kayaking. This looks like so much like an old town, doesn't it? Right yeah. Here? Yeah. We are now in the town of Libby. Libby is known as the City of Eagles. Several eagle sculptures can be found around town, including three 60-foot eagles, one at each end of town. Where are you guys going? To the Angry Beaver. After returning from Noxon, uh, it was getting cool. So Chris decided to start a fire and also burn some old wood next to the fire pit. A special thanks to Chris for inviting me on this adventure to Northwest Montana and staying at his beautiful property area and the cabin. Thanks again, Chris. I enjoyed it. Drive back to Washington was beautiful, seeing all the fall colors in Montana, Idaho, and Washington. We stopped at Ponderé, Idaho for breakfast at the Hoot Owl. It's a unique place. We were very lucky when we walked in, we could be seated immediately. Normally there's a line outside. The service was great, the atmosphere was amazing, and the food was delicious. So I highly recommend the Hoot Owl if you're in Ponderé, Idaho. Hey, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and people that view my videos. I appreciate it and thank you. As my channel continues to slowly grow, I appreciate everyone viewing it and for all my subscribers. Thank you. And remember, when possible, go outside and explore.